Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me doing an extra premium problem because I pay for premium <laughs> and I'm trying to get my money's worth. <laughs> uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's uh, thing. Uh, you know what? I'm going to do a little bit really different today. Well, not that different, but we'll see if it comes up. But if I do get an SQL problem, I am going to do the SQL problem instead of kind of just skipping it. Um, okay, did not get an SQL problem, so maybe I, I reverse jinxed it and it worked. Today's problem is 370, range addition, a premium problem. And so I hope you are here to join uh, doing with me. You're given integer length and then updates where updates start and... and, and uh, What's it called? Increment, I guess. You're in a way of length zero. You have some operation to do it. You should up increment all increments. Okay. I mean, this is going to be like a, a to be honest, like at this point, if this was on an, on, on, um, on lead code contest, this is a 20 second problem for me. Uh, I hope that it is for you as well after you kind of see what happens. The idea is just viewing instead of, um, Instead of doing real time updates, meaning that you know you update one and three or one, two and three here, for example, um, you kind of wait until you have to uh, wait wait until the end in this case, right? Because you don't have to do it live, so that's the answer. Um, there are also a, a lot of neat things that you can do with this problem, uh, namely, um, uh, you can definitely do. Uh, segment tree and binary index trees and a couple of, you know, maybe even square root decomposition, stuff like this, uh, or Mo's algorithm, or Mo's algorithm. <laughs> uh, there's definitely a lot of things you can do with this one, um, but the idea that for this one it comes into play a lot with respect to certain type of prefix, some dynamic programming that comes up on lead code contests, like, eh, recently, uh, feels like it's frequent. So definitely, um, you know, really try hard about really understanding what's going on in this one and making sure that, you know, you are, uh, sorry, I have to pop my eyes a bit, uh, making sure that, you know, you, uh, you, you get what's up, you know? Sorry, uh, I don't know, it was outside, so I'm getting a little bit sniffles. It's very cold here in New York. Okay, uh, yeah. Um, yeah. So basically, the idea is, uh, uh, geez, I'm like rubbing everything. Um, the idea basically is, uh, and I kind of already mentioned it a little bit, is prefix sum. And the idea behind prefix sum is this like delayed update where instead of updating every element, you update things in a way such that you know in the future you're going to collect the answers from left to right uh, in, a, in a prefix kind of way. Um, let me actually... I was debating it, uh, but let me pull up the paint shop real quick, right? So basically, so I'm, I'm just setting up the drawing, so you know you have more of a visualization. Hopefully, uh, yeah, don't get as much as my beautiful face, but I think that's okay. <laughs> but basically, instead, of, you know, you could look at the array as a one-dimensional, uh, you know, one-dimensional line, and then basically, for example, you want to increment um let me actually redraw this for a second hang on you know a one-dimensional line and then maybe you can think about the increments and for now let's just pretend everything's positive just because keep it simple i don't think it changes anything um but you know you can imagine that now you're drawing um you know let's just say you want to plus two in a line that goes like this so in a way th this is kind of you know you can think about it as the area under the curve and then you have these like lines and then you know maybe you also add something like like this you know a lot of overlapping segments and then of course the next thing you can do is that you know you sum over the, the heights right so that means that in I'm changing my colors a little bit so maybe you have something like this and then now this looks I don't know I'm, I'm eyeballing it so sorry friends uh, and then like something like this say right Oh, I think I missed one, sorry. Oh, no. Yeah, okay, fine. Let's try. Oh, hmm. whatever. I, it just, I think there's a, little, uh, a bit of a drop here, and then something like this, right? Yeah, that's terrible. Mm, no, something like this, and then like this, and something like that. I don't know, right? Anyway, and then you can see that the only thing that changes are... Um, and this is also could be viewed as a sweep line event type thing, I, I suppose. Um, but you can see that the only thing that changes are things that are in the beginning of the, the segment, right? These are in the beginning of a segment. 
or at the end of the segment where it goes down, right? So basically, as those things are change, you can kind of look at it as a prefix sum because here at at this point, this is just the sum of all the overlaps that are inside, right? Meaning this is the sum of here and here, right? Um, and so forth. Um, and and that is, of course, uh, a sum of um, this box and then this box, right? So that's basically the idea, kind of. I don't know if I'm... I think I'm saying it a little bit awkwardly, but I think hopefully you get the idea. Um, yeah. Okay. So then now let, let's get to it. Uh, we want to create uh, an answer is equal to zero times length, right? So for, was it, start n increment. In updates, you have answer of s, because that's where the beginning of the index is. We want to add it to the increment, and then we want to do e minus the increment. Um, but in this case, we want actually e to be inclusive, so the subtraction is going to be e plus 1. And of course, this can go over bounds, so maybe you want to do something like e plus 1 greater than length, or oh, sorry, less than length, whoops. All right, um, and we'll just ignore the last element or something like this, right? And then at the very end, after all the updates are done, then we could just collect it and then look at it in a prefix some kind of way. So then current is equal to zero, oops, for um, index in range of length, um, you have current duh, 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 uh, index, right? And then answer of index is equal to current. Um, yeah. Hmm. I think the way that I, I'm just thinking because I think the way that I wrote it is a little bit awkward. You can also just do like n sub index um, plus one add n sub index or something like this, and then maybe you know just make sure you don't go off by one. I think that's it. <clears throat> right, uh, looks okay. So let's give it a quick submit. Yep, there you go. Uh, this is very fundamental. So I definitely, if um, if you struggle with this one, definitely make sure you really understand this um like i you know um and there are very, 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 very various ways of doing it as well so definitely if you're interested look up segment tree um this square square root decomposition in no particular order by the way uh binary index tree um and then you know this prefix sum and then also um you know maybe scan line and sweep line uh, defense and processing kind of thing, right? So yeah, that's all I have with this one. Oh, I guess I have to go over the complexity. This is going to be O of... Um, maybe N is a weird way to say it because N is usually the size of the input and it is going to take... Let's just say U is the length of the update, then it's going to be O of U plus O of length time. But keeping in mind that in this case, length is not the size of the input, right? Length is just a number, so you have to be really precise and don't say like linear for that reason, right? Um, but yeah, let me actually write it down then. Time is going to be O of L for length plus U for n uh, number of updates. Maybe I like Q just because Q is usually number of queries and I, I consider these update queries. And then space is going to be O of L space, right? Because, you know... Uh, that's the size of the um, that's the size of the output, and like and just also one more time, length is length is a number that represents the size of the output. So length is actually not linear. So don't make that mistake and call this linear. At least not in terms of L. It is linear in Q for the time component in any case. So yeah. Um, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Uh, yeah, stay good, stay healthy, to your mental health. Have a great rest of the week uh, and take care. Bye-bye.